Hi, I am Ivan Zoot. I am Clipper Guy, and welcome to Clipper Guy's Greatest Hits. This is a series of short, to the point, concise, clipper cutting educational videos. Things you need to know to take the skills you have, lay on top of them the great things we share here, and rock your clipper cutting world. Here we go, Clipper Guy's Greatest Hits. Always asking Clipper Guy, hey Clipper Guy, what's the purpose of the lever on the side of my adjustable blade clipper? That's called a tapering lever, and here's how it works. When the lever is all the way up, that's what we call the close, closed, or triple zero position. When the cutting teeth are as close as possible to the tips of the non moving teeth, that's called zero. When it's all the way out like that, we call that number one when the blade moves back. The reason that changes the cutting length is when we look from the side, the blade has two surfaces the back of the blade and what I call the ramp of the blade like that. It's thinner at the tip than it is further back. So as you move back, you're cutting at a thicker portion of the blade, therefore you will leave more hair behind on the head. When you combine your choices in lever position with your angle or position on the head, Imagine the differences in length you will create. And these are small differences, but on tightly tapered haircuts, very little hair is a lot of hair. Down low, we might be in the number one position, and we might be rocking out onto the heel of the blade. That's going to leave a lot more hair behind as we come up through a neckline. Up higher, we might have the blade closed and be out on the heel of the blade for more control, cutting closer to the tip. We can also change the blade position relative to the scalp. If I tip the blade up like this and drag it into the hairline, because the teeth are long and the blade is set back, that's going to leave more hair behind on the head. And as I lay that flat, it's going to cut shorter. So by varying my clipper position, and varying my tapering lever position, I can control very short, tight, tapered haircuts. The last place we use that lever is with the use of only our number one or our zero snap-on guards. If I have a zero guard in place and I open the blade up, it adds a little length to the head. Same thing happens if I have a one guard in place and I open the blade up, it adds a little bit of length. I do not recommend that you ever open the lever on a guard longer than a one. Zero and one is fine, but longer than a one, when you get up to a four guard, that's not four and a half. It's not halfway up. It's, it might add a little bit, but more likely than not, it will pull because you're feeding lots of hair into these big guard teeth and then hoping it feeds into those fine clipper teeth. And most of the time, that just pulls and hurts your client. So use your tapering lever for true classic tapering based on blade position and clipper position. That's what the little adjustment lever is all about. I'm Ivan Zood, I'm Clipper Guy, and I appreciate you watching Clipper Guy's greatest hits in this video series. Don't forget, clipperguy.com. That's my website that is your resource for everything in the world of clipper cutting. Links to my videos, links to other great things on the web. Don't forget, zoothair.com. That is where you go for the world of the Zoot Hair hair care product brand. Customers can buy it, and I've got special pricing for salons and barbershops to purchase wholesale. I've got clipper cutting tools and equipment, and of course, the world of Clipper Guy books. Seven already with an eighth book in my head and on the way through my computer to you. Don't forget to subscribe to the video series. Don't forget to like this video, post it on Facebook, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.